Cool. You excited? Can I film you? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? I I I feel blessed. Very yeah. cool. I feel blessed. I mean, Thomas is a super great guy and you know, for my daughter to find a young man like that is it's a blessing. So, you know, I'm it's sad cuz she's not going to be sleeping in my house anymore, but you know, she's got a new adventure and I'm glad they're staying in Arizona. Absolutely. And yeah, so I'm gonna get choked up really easy, so <laughs> less words is better. You do the reading though, you're, I mean, you're not, yeah, you're, but, no, you're not uh, shy to the to public uh, speaking. No, I, I can do it, but this is, this is more, you know, this is, this is my daughter, yeah. you know, and, you know, it's, it's hard. It's not goodbye, but it changes, changes everything, so. Where's the limo? It's, it's a blessing and just focus on, you know, how excited I am for their future. You know, my my parents might be great grandparents. True. Yeah, that's right, huh? All right, everybody, find your seats. We're about to get started.
gives this woman away? Her mother and I do. All right, if anyone gathered here today know of any reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the chance to be gathered here in your house to celebrate this special day for Thomas and Charlotte. Lord, we pray that you would bless this ceremony, bless this union, and may everything that's said and done today be done for your honor and glory. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And at this time, I will read the scripture in Proverbs chapter number 30. The Bible reads, There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. And this morning, what I would like to talk about is the beauty of, of marriage. When you think about a wedding, one of the biggest compliments that anyone would ever say about a wedding is they would say, it was such a beautiful wedding, right? What a beautiful day. What a beautiful uh, couple and so forth. When we think about weddings and marriage, we think about beauty. And I'm going to give you three reasons biblically why marriage is beautiful. Okay, number one, we have here the beauty of youth, right? The Bible says in Proverbs 5.18, Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. And of course, young people are beautiful, right? And most people would say that that's the peak of physical beauty is when you're young. And the Bible talks about the virtue of getting married young, the wife of your youth and so forth. You know, a lot of people today, they might criticize getting married young, but I actually love to see young people getting married and starting out life the right way in a time when a lot of people are doing things the wrong way. I respect the fact that Thomas and Charlotte are here wanting to do things God's way by being united in holy matrimony and being uh, two that will become one flesh, as the Bible says. And so there's the beauty of youth. You say, well, yeah, but, you know, young, young men aren't necessarily beautiful, though, are they? But, you know, the Bible says the glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. And so there's the beauty of youth today. But then not only that, there's what the Bible calls the beauty of holiness. If you look up the word beauty in the Bible over and over again, it talks about the beauty of holiness the Lord's holiness. Uh, for example, the Bible says in Psalm 27, verse 4, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The Bible says in Psalm 96, 9, O worship the Lord, in the beauty of holiness, fear before him all the earth. And so not only is youth a beautiful thing, but holiness is a beautiful thing, isn't it? You know, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. You know, sin is an ugly thing in the sight of God, but holiness is beautiful. And so not only is marriage beautiful because of the youth, not only is marriage beautiful because of holiness, but also marriage is beautiful because it represents the beauty of salvation. So right after God says marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge, in the very next breath, he says, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And so right after talking about marriage being honorable and blessed, he then turns around and says, I will never leave you or forsake you. 
Well, if you think about it, that's what a marriage vow really is. You're basically saying, I will never leave you or forsake you. You're basically saying that it's you and me till death do us part, right? We're going to stay together through thick and thin, for better or for worse. And this is such a beautiful picture of salvation because in our salvation, Jesus Christ is sort of represented by the husband and then we that are saved are represented by the bride, right? And so the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. And so if you think about it, Jesus Christ, representing the husband, is saying to us, the saints, us the saved, that he will never leave us or forsake us. You know, I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, and I hope that everyone here today has also made that personal decision to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. And the wonderful thing about that is that if you have believed on Jesus Christ, he will never leave you or forsake you. You know, there are a lot of people out there who think that our salvation is based upon how good we are. Okay? Well, that would be like thinking that this marriage covenant has to be reevaluated every single day based on how good of a wife Charlotte is, based on how good of a husband Thomas is. You know, they're not being reevaluated on a daily basis. No, they're married, right? And it's that it's going to be that way five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years. That's the way it's supposed to be till death do us part. Why? Because it pictures salvation where Jesus Christ has died on the cross for us one time. He was buried and he rose again from the dead once. And once we have put our faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ on that cross, he is our savior and he will never leave us or forsake us. Jesus said, I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so this is what marriage is supposed to represent, where it's that same kind of a commitment where it's not based upon how good of a wife you are today, how good of a husband you are today, but rather it's just a commitment of, I'm accepting you as a person and there are no strings attached. It's just, I'm going to be faithful to this union no matter what happens. Now, unfortunately, sometimes human beings don't honor their commitments, but the Lord is always going to honor his commitment. And he will never break his promise to us. And the Bible says this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. I don't know about you, but to me, the gospel is a beautiful thing. There's a beauty to the gospel. You know, the Bible says in Romans 10, 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. The Bible says in Psalm 149, verse 4, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He will beautify the meek with salvation. You see, you have to be meek to get saved because getting saved is all about being humble enough to realize that you're not good enough to go to heaven, but that it's through Jesus that you're going to heaven. It's through the blood of Jesus. It's just through putting your faith in Jesus, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so salvation is beautiful, and marriage is beautiful because it represents salvation. And that makes marriage such a beautiful relationship in our lives. And so there's the beauty of youth, right? We got beautiful young people getting married at the prime of life, and I'm proud of them for getting married young and, and not going the way of this world and saying, hey, let's go sow the wild oats for like 10 years and then get married. Hey, I don't care what the world thinks we should be doing with our lives. I'm going to go with what God says we should be doing with our lives, which is to get married and have children and live a good Christian life according to the Bible. So there's the beauty of youth. Number two, the beauty of holiness, right? Because holiness is abstaining from fornication, adultery, and enjoying the union that God has ordained, marriage, right? Where a man leaves father and mother and cleaves unto his wife, 
and they too shall be one flesh, and holiness is a beautiful thing. Sin is ugly. Number three, the beauty of salvation, because marriage represents that free gift of salvation and the steadfastness of the Lord Jesus Christ, where no matter how bad we mess up as Christians, he's never going to throw us out of the family. He's never going to leave us or forsake us. He's never going to break his promise. Because let's face it, folks, if we could lose our salvation, we would all lose it every day. Because none of us is perfect, and even the thought of foolishness is sin. But thanks be to God that Jesus paid it all on the cross. All our sins are forgiven and forgotten. And as far as the east is from the west, so far has God separated us from our sins. And you know what? His mercies are new every morning. And that's what marriage is supposed to represent too. You know, over the years, things aren't going to be perfect. They never are. But every day we wake up and it's a new day. Just as God's mercies are new every morning, every day we start over and we love our wives, right? Love your husbands. And we stay faithful to that marriage that we've committed to just as Christ will always stay faithful unto us. And so if you, Thomas, and you, Charlotte, have freely and deliberately chosen each other's partners for life, would you please join hands? Thomas, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, honor and keep her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I do. Charlotte, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, honor and keep him, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I do. Thomas, would you repeat after me the following words, please? I, Thomas. I, Thomas. Take thee, Charlotte. Take thee, Charlotte. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Charlotte, would you repeat after me the following words, please? I, Charlotte. I, Charlotte. Take thee, Thomas, to be, Thomas. To, be my wedded husband. to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. From, this from this day forward, for better, for worse, for, better, for, worse. for, richer, for, poorer. for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in and in health. To, love, to love, cherish, and obey, till death do us part. May I have the rings, please? All right. And Thomas, would you put that ring on the ring finger of Charlotte's left hand? All right, and then Charlotte, if you would put that on Thomas's ring finger. And now in the presence of our friends, family, loved ones, our church, and in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And now it is my pleasure to be the very first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Forte. It's over. 
stand up. <laughs> somebody, stand, somebody stand up. <laughs> Somebody's got to stand up. <laughs> all right, all right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, I got. How are you doing? All right. Thank you. Dude, my feet were hurt. My <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's no mad rush. It's okay. I, I don't want to be rushing. <laughs> Huh? Very good. Very good. I just pour him. Yeah, I didn't mess up royally. <laughs> she looked beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was awesome. I loved uh, it. was a beautiful sermon. Yeah. Gospel. We love that. Yeah. So it was beautiful. Awesome. Let's yeah. celebrate. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That was yeah it's so awesome. I feel like a, it's a weight relieving. You know, <laughs> yeah. <now>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They deployed the the oh, that was funny. white thing. Yeah. yeah. Very good. They're yelling at each other. <laughs> like they're going oh down. God. You're going too fast. Yeah. <laughs> They sat down and went, oh, you <laughs> They got it. Typical. Yeah, that was great. Just great. Just great. Hey, James. Hey, yeah. Hey. That's right. Oh, it's in. Yeah. Good old Abe on there. And probably good on here. Same thing right there. Yes. 
are you guys ready? Alright. Everybody ready? Same thing, just right under here, right there. What I can do is where everybody's standing, just keep it simple. So what happened basically is you want to go right to cake cutting? Sure. It's probably the best thing. You can do your pictures at any time. Cool. Thank you. Just so people don't leave and they can get a picture. Awesome. Alright, so now that's the covenant marriage. Yeah. All right, everyone, if you can hear me, I would like everyone's attention for about two to three minutes. So if everybody can hear me, please give me your attention. I'm right over here in the middle. I'm by the pulpit. So what I want to do once again is ask everyone to just help me to congratulate one more time those that were involved in the wedding to help make this day a success. So I'm going to name a few names that I want to just recognize. And as I call your name, I would like you to head on over to the cake. The cake's down here. So as I call your name, just go ahead and raise your hand so everybody can see who you are. Then start walking towards the cake. And as everybody gets introduced, the final people will be introduced will be the new husband and wife. And so we'd like everyone to also meet over by the cake. We're gonna have the cake cutting ceremony in about a minute or so. Then after that, we'll pass out cake. You guys continue to fellowship. And that will be the end of that. So the first individuals that I'm gonna introduce are the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. So Moses and Skylar Thompson, go ahead and raise your hand. I believe they're over here. So Moses and Skylar Thompson, just go ahead and give my hand. Thank you so much for being here. They came from the state. So you guys can go ahead and, I know you got food already in your hand, but don't worry, go ahead and meet us over there by the cake. All right, so the other group that I want to introduce is Brayden, Bernice, and Becca Lossford. Go ahead and raise your hand. I'm not sure where you're at. They're right over here, go ahead and meet us at the cake, head on over in that direction. And then after that, I want to introduce the best man. So the best man is Chase Peterson. Chase Peterson is right over here. And he can head on in that direction. And the maid of honor, Lily Thurston. Go ahead and raise your hand. She's over here, ready to go right over to the cake. And now give us the biggest hand of applause for the night. The new Mr. and Mrs. Forte, Thompson and Charlotte. Go ahead and give a big hand. So everyone, if you can kind of gather without killing each other, just head on over to the cake cutting ceremony. It's only going to take about 30 seconds. If you got the camera, so if you got a camera, now is the time. This is one of those key moments. So if you got a camera and you want to snap some pics, some videos, or just want to witness, you got about 30 seconds to get yourself right here where you can see. So on three, you guys just get it together. You go ahead and wait. Mom and Dad, are you guys around? Can you get a little closer to me, too, son? Can you get a little closer to me, too? And we can. All right, so on three, you go ahead and give it a nice cut. One, two, three. All right, so go ahead and give him a hand, folks. <laughs> go ahead and sit and bring your hand. Put it on each other's seats. All right, this is the final applause. Once again, everyone, just give them a final applause. And now, after they get their piece of cake, everyone can just come up here. And I guess I'll need a couple volunteers, if you can, to just hand out cake. So if I get a couple volunteers, meet me up here. Once again, if I can get a couple of people, anyone, to just come up here and just help pass some cake. No volunteers, and I'll have to volunteer you. <laughs> All right, we got Mrs. Johnson. All right, right over here, brother. He's got the nice suit, so he can help as well. Okay. So, the plates, you got to figure it out. All right, folks, so as you see Kate getting passed out, what's Sorry, minor way. How's that cake? 
Is it good? I'm not eating cake. Oh, you're eating grapes? <laughs> grapes, charcuterie. But it's good, nonetheless. Very cool, very cool. I'm excited about the cake. Okay. Yeah? That. All right. All right, you just follow me. I'll take over the cake. Hold Where's the, where's the serving? <laughs> we might eat some of these. Can you hop up to my face? I'll be back to help you guys out. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. How's the cake? I'm trying to do it. Looks good though. It looks good, huh? You guys taking pictures? Yeah. Cake gangster. You want to do it? All right. It's a video, so I'll free stream it. Very good. Cool, all right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Roger! Roger! You want to do it again? Roger! Roger! There you go. You go ahead, I'll get one of you. Alright. Perfect. Yep. All right. So are these gonna be some pictures? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can freeze frame. You wanna do a pic? Yeah. What? You can get a real picture with him. That's a portrait. Very good. You excited? Yes. Yes.
Take her room? Definitely not. No. <laughs> Good. Good the bathroom, bathroom will be clean though. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> the clean bathroom is what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> All right. Very true cool. confessions. Yeah, it's true confessions. Clean bathroom. Yeah. Very cool. You got your own bathroom. You got a bathroom again. And 24-7 use. No more, no more hour, waiting. No more hour long showers or <laughs> <laughs> bath bombs. Yeah, that's what they like. All right. Very cool. Well, Congratulations. Thank you. God, come on. I'm like, this is like, it's great. Congratulations, like, Charlotte. We've known you since you were born, and we're so proud of you Super growing happy. up and uh, getting married. We're so excited for your new life. Very cool. Thank you. It's perfect. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Charlotte. Well, congratulations uh, to the newlyweds. You know, as far as uh, words of advice, I would just say, you know, uh, be kind to one another, be patient, and remember, I guess maybe this is bad advice or it doesn't make any sense, but this is the advice that was given to me, is that she's, she's your wife, not your sister. He's your husband, not your brother. Don't treat each other like siblings. Uh, so I don't know if that's gonna be any help, but it certainly has helped me throughout the years. But uh, yeah, congratulations. It's great to see young people getting married and making those right decisions. I'm very, uh, 
very proud of both of them and, and, and wish only the best for them. Like I said on the, on the letter, I um, hope you have a happy marriage, marriage and honor God, and I hope you, uh, um, congratulations for the day, and God bless. Awesome. You guys want to say anything to the couple? Yes, congratulations to Charles and uh, Thomas, and I uh, hope they would continue to serve God, and uh, God bless them. Awesome. God bless you guys. Very Stay good. Church. Very good. Very good. Hey, man. Is it good cake? It's good cake. All right. Very good cake. Oh, sorry. I remember the cake was so good.
Ha, ha, ha.